Good morning. Go ahead, identify yourself for the record. Risa Lanier for the people, R-I-S-A-L-A-N-I-E-R. Tina Glandian on behalf of Jesse Smollett, who's present in court, and I'm accompanied by Ron Safer and Brian Watson. All right, very good. All right, so the matter is here for assignment this morning. Marcus? Judge Watkins. Judge Watkins. Good morning. For the record. Tina Glandian, Ron Safer, and Brian Watson on behalf of Jesse Smollett, who's mm -hmm. present in court. Thank you. Good morning to you all. Lisa Good morning. Lanier for the people. Yeah, Mr. Smollett, I'm tendering to your attorney a copy of the charging document, the indictment, as well as a copy of the grand jury transcript and a copy of the transcript of the prosecutor. So we're going to need a plea. Uh, let me know if you want me to formally read the indictment. You have the option of having me read it, or you can waive readings. And I'll need a plea of guilty or not guilty. Your Honor, we waive formal reading of the indictment, and Mr. Smollett enters a plea of not guilty. Thank you. Now, Mr. Smollett, please be advised that you must be in court each and every court date. Your failure to come to court can result in a warrant for your arrest. If you fail to come to court on your trial date, you can be tried in your absence. And if you are found guilty, you can be sentenced in your absence. So you must be in court each and every court date on time. Parties, we, this court has a standard case management order. I'm tendering a copy of the order to each party. The 18th is not good as well. The 17th is a good date. That's fine for the defense, Your Honor. Okay. We'll go by agreement, April 17, 2019. One other matter, Your Honor. As part of Mr. Smollett's bail conditions, he's to seek court permission prior to leaving the state. Uh, previously, we had discussed with the people, uh, our offices are, are located in both California and New York. Having Mr. Smollett be able to travel freely to New York and California to meet with us as needed. I believe the people had no objection. Previously, we did get permission for specific travel, but we would ask your honor to approve of him traveling both to California and New York without specific permission from the court each time he needs to do so. Obviously, our schedules are always changing. We don't know exactly when we'll need to meet with him. It would be helpful not to have to run into court every time to seek permission. And we're happy to have him notify his pretrial services officer prior to his travel. Thank you. Judge, we have no objection to him traveling to meet his attorneys. It would be helpful if we knew specific dates. However, based upon counsel's representation, the state has no objection. All right. Well, the motion for the defendant to travel for the sole purpose of meeting with counsel to the states of New York and the state of California will be granted. We're asking that the defendant notify pretrial services at least 48 hours prior to travel and to notify pretrial services 24 hours on his return. We will do that, Your Honor. And let's, put that, let's put that in an order. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>